With record-breaking prices rocking the art world, what is an art lover without a fortune to do? Well, try checking out the Outsider Art Fair, which features accomplished works by artists with little or no formal training and is attracting a whole new audience of collectors. Here to tell us more is Becca Hoffman, director of the Outsider Art Fair. Becca, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Tell us, first of all, what exactly is Outsider Art? Well, thank you, Tanya. Outsider Art is done by artists who are untrained or self-taught. It's derived from Jean Dubuffet's term art brut or raw art that was coined in 1947. And in his description of outsider artists, he describes them to derive everything from within as opposed to from fashionable or classic art. And so these are artists that tend to have not had much training, no MFAs in the bunch. No MFAs in the <laughs> yeah. bunch, no. So how do you then curate your shows? How do you find the art to show? Because this is still accomplished art, so how do you find yes. these artists? Well, it starts with the galleries, Tanya. Mm -hmm. And the fair goes out and invites a, a series of galleries from around the world to participate. The galleries themselves bring the top of their roster of artists and then the fair pulls it all together. Right, and some of these artists have amazing stories. Tell us about a few of them. Absolutely, that's what's really exciting about outsider art is you can really delve into the stories of the artists. For example, Dan Miller, who works with Creative Growth Art Center in Oakland, California, um, is severely autistic and his way of communicating with the world is through his word meditations. Incredible. They're absolutely wonderful. You really can lose yourself in the world of his words. And you find that a lot of the art that I saw in your, in your exhibit here was very, some of it was very political, very personal. Absolutely. Well, the artists really sort of adapt to and fall in love with aspects of pop culture. Mm -hmm. So is this creating a new audience of younger collectors? Because the price point of this art is far more accessible. Yes, the price point is far more accessible, that's for sure. What is an average painting, let's say, cost at the Outsider Art Fair? Price points, uh, the world record is 800,000. And at high. the fair, it's pretty high. <laughs> um, at the fair, you were able to see work from anywhere around half a million dollars to a few thousand dollars. To a few thousand, okay, yes. great. And so that's clearly for new collectors or for people who are trying to get their foot in the art world, it's a, it's a big difference, it's a far cry. Absolutely, it's a far cry. And this art, you buy on love. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily buy on price. Right, now, but the, as these outsider art fairs become more and more popular, because mm -hmm. you've had them for several years now, how many years have you Yes, had? the New York Fair just celebrated its 24th edition, and this October we'll have our fourth edition of our Paris Fair. Do you worry that as the establishment becomes more and more interested that that line could be blurred between establishment art and outsider art? No, because Tanya, it's all art. Mm -hmm. And I think that what's really exciting right now is seeing how many more people are falling in love with outsider art. And sales are up? Sales are definitely up. Tell us about the next one in Paris. The next one in Paris is October 20th to 23rd. It takes place at the same time as FIAC, and it is in a venue called the Hotel du Duc, which is a fabulous townhouse, and we will have about 38 exhibitors from uh, France, the U.S., and all over the world. Sounds like a good excuse to visit Paris exactly. in October. Becca, thank exactly. you so much You're for welcome. that.